What's up everybody, Craig here, and it's that time of the year again, it's the fall, uh, Apple released a new operating system, Mac OS Sierra, and I like to do clean installs. Uh, this is my Hackintosh right here, so I'm not going to do the clean install, so later I'll be linking my video I did with the El Capitan, once we go ahead and build our thumb drive, it's basically the exact same setup uh, as Al Capitan, so I'm going to go with building the Sierra thumb drive and get you to the point where it comes to installing and then you just follow uh, the video that I'll have in the annotations that you just click on it will take you to that point in the video and you proceed from there uh, but what you're gonna need today uh, is you're going to need an 8 gigabyte thumb drive and basically I'll have the folder shared out so you'll be able to grab the command to run uh, so just follow uh, that carefully as you see the 8 gigabyte thumb drive I have is named USB It's because I'm going to be changing the name of that uh, pretty soon so I could drive my point home because last uh, El Capi 10 install clean install video Nine times out of ten every comment that said they couldn't get it to work was because they had their USB named wrong because the command is going to tell the Mac to hey I have this USB named entitled and you have an application in your folder named Mac OS Sierra install and I want to go ahead and put that on the USB and it needs to be named correctly so it can follow that command so just please just uh, follow this step by step and we'll go from there now clean installs are good if you've been running your operating system for a while and it's gotten slow and it's gotten a little buggy and stuff like that it's going to go ahead and wipe your whole system and you're gonna throw a nice fresh copy of Mac OS Sierra on your on your hard drive solid state drive whatever you have you're going to lose everything so back up your data your documents your movies your pictures all that good stuff get an external hard drive I don't care how you back up it doesn't make sense to do a time machine backup because it's going to put a lot of old files on there so I recommend the old drag and drop uh, way to do it but it's up to you so um, go ahead and do that you're also going to need to reinstall all your apps so if you bought through the app store you're good to go you can just go to your purchase history and re-download if you didn't and you have product keys hopefully you've saved them in your email if you have not uh, go ahead and contact those companies now and say hey I bought it provide the receipt whatever they'll go ahead and send you another product key and you can reinstall your apps that way uh, so without further ado I will put a link in the description with a shared folder that's going to have these text documents one's a word document one's a text document um, and you're going to uh, copy a command out of there but before we do that we need to go ahead and name our USB correctly so my USB that I have that's 8 gigabytes or higher right here I'm going to head and uh, open disk utility now I'm going to go into the other folder here uh, so you know where it's at if you go here and you go into the other folder Disk utility is in there, so we'll open it from there. That way, people are, hey, what's going on? I don't see it. I use disk utility so much, that's why it's in my dock, but other folks may not, so you'll need to go into the other folder. Okay, once you are into disk utility, uh, you're going to go ahead and see all your storage drives, your thumb drives, whatever on the left, okay? You're going to need to click on this. Now, I, it's a ADATA USB flash drive, right? But you see right here it says USB. That's the volume it created. That's the partition it created, uh, Mac OS uh, Extended Journal. It created that, okay? we don't want to format that because it'll leave it named USB we want to change that to untitled the default uh, that way uh, we have you know a uniform way of running this command so do not click and format this click format that and the way to do that is click erase and it automatically names it untitled so you don't have to do anything it's already in Mac OS extended journal OS 10 extended journal it's already in GUI department partition map. You don't change anything. You literally just click erase. Okay, once that's done, you go ahead and close this out. We don't need you anymore. So command Q. Um, and then open any one of these. I'll open the text document. And then we're going to go ahead and click from the beginning of the S, not not a space before, to the last part of the end okay so not a space before not a space after it has to be copied perfectly we're going to copy that 
And if anybody liked that little app that popped up right there, that's called Pop Clip. It's in the App Store. So go ahead and check that out. Um, and then I'm going to go to my search and click uh, type in Terminal. And so now that we have that copied, all I have to do is hit Command V, or you can right click and paste, but I hit Command V as in Victor. Okay, and I'm going to hit Enter. It's going to ask you for your password. Okay, this is your administrator password, not your Apple ID. Sometimes your Apple ID could be your password, but in my instance, it is not. So I will put in my password, and it's not going to show it. So some folks are going to go, oh, it's not typing in a password. But in fact, I did type in a password, and once I hit enter, it's good to go. It's starting to erase. It's doing its thing. It's copying its files. And then I have a USB 3.0 drive. So this thing's going to be done in about 10 minutes. If you have a USB 2.0 drive, expect to wait around for about 30 or so and then the installation is much worse so uh, I don't know where you've been for the last uh, you know bunch of years but USB 3.0 is the way to go when it comes to thumb drives so next time you're at the store or Amazon pick up a USB 3.0 thumb drive they're very cheap and much faster saves you a lot more time so we're gonna go ahead and let this build and then I'll be back all right, once it's done, you're going to see this, okay? It's going to say done, all right? If it doesn't say done, you're not done. So I'll just let you know. Um, so it says done, and then we'll go ahead and I'll command Q out of this. So your install drive is ready to go. Now, if you look at it, okay, it looks like you just dragged and dropped onto your install. But in fact, it didn't, obviously, because it renamed it, but it made it bootable. So if you think, oh, that's easy, I can just drag and drop it, you're wrong. Okay, you're going to find that you can't boot it. And if you do get to boot it, congratulations, because it's the first one in history. Anyway, um, so this way to, to install is way better than what I kind of used to put out. Uh, there was a way to install where you were showing your hidden files, hiding your hidden files, mounting stuff, and DMG files, all this stuff. It was kind of miserable. And so this was very easy. We just copy and paste it, and there you go, right? Um, the thing is, is the other benefit to doing this is the way I used to show before I think with like mountain lion and, and prior to that is that that would not install a um, find my Mac uh, well basically in order to have find my Mac you need a recovery partition so it wouldn't install a recovery partition so when it came time to use find my Mac which is very helpful when it comes to lots of things you couldn't do it because it wasn't a re recovery partition there uh, if you do it this way, it will install a recovery partition and you'll be able to use Find My Mac. So this is this is the best way to go, I've found. If you found a, a, a better way, then go ahead and put it down in the description. But this was just a copy and paste and you're ready to go. So um, if you like this video, go ahead and smash the, uh, the like, subscribe. I got some more stuff coming out. Like I said, I'm in Korea for the next year, so I'm going to put some stuff out. Um, go ahead and click on the annotation I'll put at the end of this video so it will take you to the install portion of this clean install and just follow that from there on. Other than that, I hope you've liked this video. Uh, I put a new blender out there. It's going to be called Craig's Tech, so I hope you like it. Thanks.